playing in the background. And I think we're live. So hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Um, this is a dig digital lab after hours uh, session because I'm a Luddite and couldn't get the stream to work on my laptop at home. So you get to see the lab all quiet and serene. Um, and tonight we're basically going to be talking about ProSelect um, as an IPS tool and how it can affect your business during this lockdown period. And then afterwards, hopefully when we've got customers streaming through the doors, um, how it can increase your sales. So first of all, I'd like to say a very big hello to Sharon Wallace. And thank you very much for joining us. Hi. Basically, you might have heard me banging on about ProSelect over the last couple of weeks. Um, and I can talk about it until I'm blue in the face. But what would really appreciate is a photographer that actually uses it and uses it well. Uh, so Sharon's very kindly agreed to join us. Um, we'll be doing a QA and a afterwards, um, after Sharon's gone through her presentation. And so if you just want to put your comments in the comments section on YouTube, I'll try and uh, have a look at them without actually setting the video off again. Um, and we'll address those at the end of the session. So without further ado, I'll hand over to Sharon and take it from there. Thank you, Alex. Hi, everybody. It's a shame I can't see all your faces. I've missed seeing everybody. It's strange, face. isn't it, talking to an empty <laughs> It really is. Um, okay, so pro select. I don't tell anybody how long I've been using this. Um, I have actually been using it for about 12 years now um, when we opened our first studio. Um, I can't remember using anything else other than ProSelect for a viewing tool for my clients. Um, and it's developed itself so much over the last 12 years. Um, I've probably only really scratched the surface of it. But with them, um, thanks to Alex, he's asked me to come on and just share my experience with you all, how it's benefited my business and um, the favorite features that um, it holds. So basically, um, without ProSelect, my sales certainly wouldn't be as good as they are now. And it also gives you confidence in selling. Um, I actually feel confident now selling my products and um, clients love it. They love the fact that it's really easy. And um, we have the techie dads who are sitting there on the sofa going, oh my God, this is brilliant, this software. It's great, where'd you get this from? And I think it just makes the whole in-person sales preview session flow a lot easier. Anyway, so what I'll do, I'm going to share my screen um, with you all and I'm going to show you, will that be fine? Yeah, share screen on here. Here we are. Hopefully you can all see my screen now. Is that working okay, Alex? That looks all right from my <laughs> screen. Um, if anyone's having any problems seeing anything, just give us a shout. Okay, so basically, um, customers love it, like I said, it sets a really good impression. Um, I'm going to give you an idea of how I set up um, ProSelect um, and the scenario in my preview room for my clients. So I basically have a lovely sofa and about four foot away from my clients, I have a 65 inch screen. Um, I have used a projector in the past, which I've not really had much luck with. I don't think the clarity of the images are that great. So um, I use a big television screen and I have um, a little desk in the corner where I run my um, ProSelect from, but it's actually linked to a Mac Mini. So I try and keep everything wireless in there simply because we've got the kids in there. They do come along to preview sessions. Um, I wanted to try and make everything um, tidy. So I have like a little um, wireless keyboard linked to my Mac Mini, which is running ProSelect on the big screen. Okay, I've also, in very close to where the clients are sitting, I've got a huge board with all my chevrons on, which are beautifully displayed. They're full of digital labs, gorgeous, gorgeous frames. So you're not seeing the new moldings that they've got coming out at the moment. They're absolutely beautiful. 
And above the television, right opposite where my clients are sitting, is one of my largest um, multi-aperture layouts. And I can say that probably 90%, 95% of my clients, especially newborn clients, purchase one of those because they're literally looking at it. That they're sat on this sofa actually when the newborn session is taking place, but they're looking at this and they can see it all the time. And it's easy for me to reference. And it's always a really good idea to try and have um, some of your favorite products in the vicinity where you're actually holding your preview session. It's easy to just point them out and show them the options that you offer. So um, a typical preview session for me would be I'd sit them down, I'd have all their images set up in Pro Select. There is a little bit of homework you need to do before your clients come in. And that will be once you've edited all your images, I upload them into um, Pro Select. And um, you can see here, I have um, a newborn session I did not long ago. Um, we were able to use two studios for this because uh, mum wanted the white studio. And then we did the newborn session in the other studio. So I'll just show you, I've got um, a full gallery in here. They're all down here as well. So up here in Pro Select, you've got three little faces. Personally, I don't like the unhappy face, but <laughs> I don't like any negative feelings in my preview room. Um, so you can actually choose in the preferences to start off your preview session with all your images in the happy face, the maybe face, or you certainly wouldn't put them in the unhappy face. So I always start them off in the little maybe face, because then when we go through the gallery with the customers, we can put the favorites over into the happy face there. So we're starting off with nice, positive feelings already. One thing to remember also with Pro Select, sometimes um, I will get clients coming in with grandparents, obviously not now or pre-lockdown, we didn't, but sometimes we will have literally a whole family coming in for the preview session. It's a day out and then they all go out for lunch. So if you've got grandparents coming in to view the session as well, you can create a second set of images on here so that you're not confusing the favorites of the parents to the favorites of the grandparents because they do like different things. And I've noticed that some grandparents don't like certain poses, but parents do. So a simple way of doing that is if you can select all of the images, you can duplicate them over here, and then you can just drag do that again, silly thing over there. Drag them all into set two. Okay, let me just check, make sure that worked because I had that funny little glitch coming up on the right hand side of my screen. Okay, let's just fix this. Select them all. Yeah, it has actually done it. We're going to do it twice just to show you for safety's sake. Select them all. Duplicate. And the duplicated ones that are highlighted, you can just drag over into set two here. Okay, so you've got a full set there that you can preview with grandma when the parents have finished looking at theirs. So you're going to monopolize on your sales straight away. Okay, so let me just quickly show you this interface slightly, just and what it does. I'm just going to move Alex's little face over there. Okay, so we're in image mode at the moment, and you can see all the images in the screen here. We have duplicated some of these, so please ignore the amount of images we've got in here now. They're all down here, okay. We can also then go into layout view. And as we know, we can work with layouts, we can work with single wall art, and this is the magic behind Pro Select. Because before a client comes in for their session, we load the images in, like we said. I then prepare a few different wall art inspirations for them. So I will get an idea of what they like from their newborn session, because they will have seen any of the products on the wall. They may be past clients that have already purchased products, so you know what their favorites are. I always keep a record of everything that they sell, that they buy 
on my uh, Studio Cloud system so I know what frame they've had in the past. So I will instantly make sure that I'm creating a wall art which matches that they've had before. So first of all, one of my best sellers is uh, a multi-image layout, well, a multi-aperture layout. And um, the beauty behind Pro Select at the moment is we can load the frames and the layouts and the maps from Digital Lab into Pro Select. Uh, so you can actually show the client a real life product on a wall. Now, when I do this, I mean, we have various elements of Pro Select that actually need to be pulled together in order for you to create a really smooth preview session. You want to make sure that all these are all set in place before you actually run your preview sessions, because then you look like you know what you're doing. So you're not bumbling about thinking, oh, what did I do here? Well, how do I get that layout up? So the first thing I would do as to prepare everything for your gallery is to make sure you have all those elements in place. You've got your images and you then need to make sure you've got all your frames. ProSelect does actually come with its own set of um, rooms in there as well, by the way, which, you know, not, it's not everybody's taste. It is um, quite middle America. And, Very American um, suburb, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be really nice here. <laughs> um, but obviously, they're not to everybody's taste. There are a few in there that are okay to start with, um, and you don't have to use them all. You can switch them on and off. Um, but I, as you can see here, I have quite a few room sets, room sets that I like the look of. So I've got some bedrooms. It's really important to have a bedroom set in there, by the way, because that then gives you another opportunity to sell a product in another room. We've got nursery, we've got hallways, we've got dining rooms, we've got lounges. So try and cover every... I've even got a bathroom. So, you know, you can put a picture on the wall <laughs> in the bathroom. Acrylics and metallics. Uh, you know, <laughs> so... And these are really nice. These are actually from Ariana Falerni. And I don't know whether she's doing a Black Friday sale. I'm sure Alex will find that out for us. If she is, then we link can the um, yeah. get a link over there for you guys. Um, so yeah, you can buy these and you can, I think you can actually source some free if you have a good old search on Google. But um, yeah, so we've got wall set, wall room sets, and these are easy to load. Um, in Pro Select, you actually have all these menus up here. So in your resources, you can actually set up the rooms. So you can pull in resources. So um, you will download your files, first of all, your Ariana room sets or wh whoever you, you decide to choose. And then you will go to your image file, which will be in your downloads, and you will pull that in. And then it will come into this little section here, which is your library. And um, for example, once you get a room that comes in, um, you can actually scale it. Now, this is very important, especially if you want to display um, your wall art in scale because that's going to be important when you're upselling as well. It's a really good idea to put a small, medium and a large product on the wall together in front of the client. And then they can see exactly how small a small one looks in a real size room. So um, for example, here you've got this little ruler. So you can actually measure this ruler, you can change and you can, these some of these are already come in preset and measured and they're supposed to be accurate, but some of them I need to tweak. So if there's something with, um, let's say, for example, a hall, hallway here, I know that from that handle down to that door is about 38 inches. So I can move this ruler to here and then down to here. And I can change that to about to 38 inches, save the changes. Then I know that that room is in scale. There is also um, a really good app um, that um, Pro Select have now introduced, um, which is called Send My Rooms. 
um, Alex probably knows a little bit more about this than me. Um, we have tried it and it's brilliant actually because it actually gives the client the opportunity to take a picture of a room in their home that they're thinking of actually placing their wall art on. And it's really simple. You basically have a, who is it, Alex? Uh, it's in my rooms is- Oh, here we go. It's in orders. <laughs> so much information, so many little gems in this software. Honestly, it's amazing. So here we have send my rooms. You can send an invitation to your client. Um, so you'll put the name, the surname, their email address, their number, their viewing date, and you can send an invitation to them. They will receive that. Um, and then it gives them the option to open up the app. Really simple. You have a little video guide of how to do it. They'll take a picture of a wall in their lounge, for example. They simply just have to get a piece of A4 paper, put it on the wall, take a photograph of it, square on. And then that A4 paper actually acts as a scale for you when you set it up in your rooms. So that image will then come through to you and you can set um, whether it comes in a day before, or a couple of days before their preview appointment. And then you will have the option, let me get rid of that, of loading it into here. Now I will show you an example of what they actually look like. So these are all my library rooms, which I've loaded in myself. This is an example of an album room. Okay, so this is my lounge. Don't ignore the mess, please, because it's a bit, make sure there's no doggy toys hanging around. So literally I've taken a picture of um, a wall in my lounge and I've put a piece of A4 paper on there. So in my room setup, this is what I would place the measuring rule on. So I would make sure that that measures 11 inches and then save it. Then I can show the client what a piece of wall art will look like on their wall. I can match up the frames with their home decor. I can show them the sizes. It's absolutely brilliant and they are amazed by it they're like oh my god i can't believe you've got my room in there oh, let's try this frame let's try that frame so that's a really really good feature that pro select have just introduced okay so i'm trying not to witter on too much because i can't believe it's, it's about 20 minutes on here already alex please tell me to shut up if i'm going on too long <laughs> No, I'm not sure everyone's appreciating it <laughs> i want to show you um, another element that's going to make your your pros, your your preview session room fabulous is to create um, the layout. So the first thing I always do is go into multi aperture layouts. So up here, so I'm not confusing everyone because please forgive me if I'm going too fast because I, I get quite excited about this program. So this is our image mode, which will give us all the images. Yeah, then we've got our layout mode, which will show us our layouts. Now, depending on what you have selected, will be visible here. So I've already preloaded these lovely layouts in that Alex has tirelessly put together amazingly. Now, these are available to download on the Digital Lab website under sales tools, and it says Pro Select. And it's so easy, just go in there, download them. And then when you come to set it up in here, you just have to reach over to your download folder and they'll just come importing in. And I'll just try and give you a quick recap of those. So first of all, um, we've got the multi apertures. Here they are, how gorgeous are they? So we have a main folder here, the category folder called Digital Lab Multi Apertures. Then you have a subfolder over here, which at the moment you're seeing all the folders under multi apertures, but you can actually select just the 24 by 24s, or you can select 30 by 24s, or the panoramics. This is my favorite. This is the one I sell tons of these. Everybody loves them. And the squares. 
and then a 4531. I wish I could sell more of those, Alex. I really do. <laughs> well, we've only had them on the site a while, so give it time, Sharon. I'm sure you will. Yeah, but now I, mean, I need to start pushing those. One of the I'm things gonna... <laughs> I saw, thought was really cool was that, and one of the guys from Pro Select was showing me, you can create your own sort of um, studio favourites or something like that in the resources folder. So you can just have whatever you sell just preset. So like yeah. before, you don't have to keep going through every single yeah. that you've got. You can just quickly go straight to it. Yeah. So because sometimes I think if you have too many in there, because you can do this in front of the client as well. And they're like this. Oh, my God. Look at all those you can do. And <laughs> But it's great to have them set up first because you actually know, like you know what you're doing. So first of all, I will select this template and I will then go into my images and I will create um, a layout for them here. So I'm actually going to scroll down to the baby images because what this also allows you to do is monopolize. So I don't want to put a mixture of family in here and I don't want to put the newborn in here because now I can I can sell more images if I do separate family products and then do newborn, newborn images. So first of all, I will select a few of these in here. This section down here allows you to play around with it. So you can see I just dragged it in. So depending on which image, oops, which image you want. My Wacom pen's going a little bit wild. You can then select it, and then with the little um, scissors there, that's almost like an editing tool. It allows you then to increase, decrease, rotate if you want to. Um, there we go. And I think you can also hold the option key down and do it that way. Um, then I will bring in separate images for around the side. When I'm shooting the newborns on the beanbag, I try to ensure I get five images, slightly different poses. That means I've got, I've definitely got a gallery full of images for the customers then. Okay, so once they're in, um, you can then go and decide what mat you want to put on there. Go away. So here you've got the mat options. So they have inner mat and they have, um, what's that one called? Is that a surrounding mat? I don't really use surrounding mats because it gets a bit confusing. It basically means you've got so many different mounts. Mounts are mats, I think they call them in America. So um, we choose a mat and down here, you've got the option of going for a single or a double. I often have double and I know I have Snow White. So I'll pop that on there. You can change that to ice white. You've got ivory. You've got the black with the white core. There's endless opportunities here. You know, you can use this if you want to do um, fine artwork with your dark low key images. Um, but I generally use the Snow White double mat there. Then the beautiful thing is you can select your frames. So once the frames have all been loaded in, you can scroll down and you can select. Oh, hang on, where are we? That's not frame. Go back. Do that. Okay, so here, this little icon here, which is the frame one, it brings up all the frames, all the digital lab frames are on here as well, every single one of them. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, let me just scroll down. Let me find the vintage white, okay, which is a popular one for me. So there we go, absolutely gorgeous. And then you can actually bring the layout. So open up your room. And it's easy just to navigate through these um, windows. You've got the room window, you've got the layout window. I don't sell books. I don't sell hardly any photo books. Um, but if you're a wedding photographer, I mean, it's it's perfect if you want to try and do books on here. But I think ProSelect really does come into its own when it's when you're selling wall art um, and single pieces for the wall. So open up your room and then you can drag the layout over here. And this is actually in scale now because, as I showed you before, we ensured that all the rooms were in scale. So this gives the client 
have a rough idea of how it's going to look on the wall. Down here is really good because sometimes they'll go, well, how big is that then on the wall in that frame? You know, I know it's a 32 by 14 layout, but how big is it going to be on my wall? Well, you've got all the measurements here, the overall size, it even tells you what size the images actually are in the layout. And you can change the frame if you want to. Even here, you can just go into the frame if one wants to try a gray, a gray frame or you can just change them. Distress gray. They're all on here. And you know, they're a really good representation of the frames themselves. I was actually that when we were when we were creating them. So I had like a, a three and a half hour tutorial from the guys in the States on how to sort of set them up. And when he was describing how you upload the frame, and it's like a little tiny sliver of it. And then he's like, and the program will just do the rest. I was like, yeah, all right, mate. I know, I know. I always yeah. wondered how they did that. It's very clever, but they do. And it's great because on my board next to me, um, when I'm doing the, the slideshow, I've got all the chevrons there. So you know, mum will look and she'll go, oh, you know, can I have a look at that mold in yeah. there? Because they're Velcroed on, I can take them off. She can hold them, she can touch them, she can see how big they are, the weight of them. And then I'll just bring them up on the screen. And in the past, I've had people holding a chevron up against the television screen. And because the backlight on the TV is so bright, you just can't see. You just can't see what, what the frame looks like at all. So yeah, I mean, they're the layouts. Um, you can also um, go into the single images. So for example, single wall art. So for example, if you wanted to um, sell blocks, for example, down here, there are also, um, I've, I've actually created single frame, single image frame product folder for myself, but let's just go into the wall art here. Ooh, we've got the spheres. How cool is that? Never used to be able to do that before on ProSelect and see that circular block and the octagon. You're so flash, Alex, you really are. <laughs> so um, again, um, we are only seeing these two rooms because I'm in album rooms, which are the rooms that the client has sent me. Most of the time, we will be in here where all these beautiful posh rooms are. That probably no one's house ever looks like. No, I certainly doesn't anyway. Um, okay, so if we open up this room here, um, we can place a piece of wall art in there. So let's go back to the sphere. We'll open up the sphere. And these are available in numerous sizes, as you know, from Digital Lab. And I think this one at the moment is size as a 40 by 40. So it might look huge on this wall, but let's just see how it goes. Um, you would choose an image. Obviously that is going to work in a circle. Let's bring this little nugget in. Don't be fooled by this child. She is Satan. Really? <laughs> no, she wasn't. She was okay. Um, go away. So then you can drag this in here. Okay. Nice big block. And as Maggie would say, sell big, sell big. <laughs> of course. Um, so there you go. A nice birch block in there. I think, just let me just see if we can. I'm not sure whether are ah, yet. Yeah. So when these are set up, um, you can either set them up, you can create your own um, little products as well. Um, it's got a facility where you can create your own templates. But you can see here what I'm doing. Because it's not been set up as a fixed size, you can actually increase it and decrease it and it will show you the size down here. So obviously we don't want to be selling an eight by eight, so we will go big. Okay, and the client will be able to see, but it's a great idea to put a smaller one next to this when you're showing the client. That way, she's not going to want to go with a little ditty one that looks lost on the wall. She's going to want to go big. Or, or she'll buy a collection. A collection, yeah. That lovely porthole bubble collection is that you call it. But uh, yeah, and that will, you can duplicate this. So for example, let's go back into the layouts. We can choose to duplicate it with or without the image. Obviously we want to duplicate it without the same image. And then we're going to pop another image in there. Let's pop the brother in. 
and we can increase the image inside there. Are these from the new White Studio? They are, yeah. Gosh, you know, that's been an absolute godsend for me, especially since all this rubbish has been going on because we can socially distance from everybody. It's still got the Christmas tree up in there at the minute. I really don't want to take it down. Um, and then you can add another one in. We can reduce them down. So ideally what you would do is you would do a nice big one of baby in the middle or one of the three of them together and then one of the brother and one of the sister. So you could put another one down here and you can just make them smaller. Oops, tap, tap. There we go. Okay. And another thing I was just going to show you, there's so much to show you guys on this. It's it's amazing. So in the room set, we'll just go back to this layout here. You can actually um, zoom in on it on the wall as well with this little eye here. So you can zoom in there and then you can go back to the room set too. Um, you can, like I said to you before, if you want to, you can actually, I think you can replace the images in this mode as well. So this center image down here, I think. Yeah, you can change the image there. Um, you may even be able to do it while it's in zoom mode. So let's try it again. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know about that zoom mode either. Oh. It's, great. Oh, people <laughs> it's easier to just zoom in and out while it's, that is a new feature I'm afraid to select. Okay. Um, and another thing with this, what you can also do, um, your work, you, you know, you'll have this ready for the client when they come in, you will show them. I haven't even told you what I do. I normally play the slideshow when they first come in. So they will see all the images first. You can set your slideshow up with a welcome window to begin with, and that can be tailored to anything you can. I mean, it gives you samples down here. There's loads of options you can choose. It can say welcome Hargreaves family or welcome baby Georgie. Um, you can even put your logo on there, which looks really nice. And then it'll tell you, um, you can start off with your set of images here, which tells me there are 70 in there then it will automatically go to my layouts or my, um, yeah, all my layouts, my products, which currently there is three. And then it will go into the room sets where there is currently three. And then it will end with a thank you. You can tailor your own music to it. ProSelect do have a library of music that you can use in there, uh, which are okay. Um, but I have a few tracks myself that get the tears going. Once you've got the tears, you've got the sale. Uh, so that they work really well. So once they've seen the slideshow and you're already getting, getting a reaction straight away, you already know that you're there. And then I will say to the client, um, we're gonna go through the images and we're going to eliminate the weaker images. I never say, we're gonna get rid of the ones you don't like because nobody wants any negative feelings in the studio so they're like oh my god but I love them all and it's like right okay we'll, we'll go through so what I do is I bring up the images that are very similar and you can select four or six or however many at a time bring them up I know these are duplicated by the way I'm not going mad I did that earlier on and it was just too much trouble to get rid of um up here it will show you that you've got a bank of four images that are very similar. And as you're going through the gallery and you're bringing up the images that are very similar, like these here as well, show me again, I've got another bank of six that are very similar. This will stay here. I think there's about six of them that will stay up there. You can always revert back to those. Um, so I will say, okay, out of these six, which images would you like me to keep in your gallery? And they'll say, oh, this one and this one. So we will then put this one and this one in the yes face. Okay, so we're starting to build the favorite images, the images that they really want. And I'm talking about images that they would like to see on their wall. I've not even mentioned digitals. I don't mention digital files to the very end of the session. It's wall art that we want to be selling. So you go through the whole gallery, 
you end up with a lovely group of images here. And they're the images that we will work with. We will show them then the layouts that we've created for them and the individual wall arts. And we will ask them which one of these layouts appeal to you. Where can you see these images in your home? And instantly you will get an impression of which one they're looking at. And more often than not, for me, they will go, move our legs out the way over there. Can you see me doing that? Can you see me moving our little faces around? I can't. I can just see your face on the side there. I don't oh, know what yeah. anyone else can see because this oh. is... <laughs> well. Okay. So you can see our faces moving across the screen. It's just... <laughs> I keep having some movements across. Okay, <laughs> so... Um, I've got nothing to say now. So it, when I ask them um, which images they like, and they'll, I'll say, do you prefer a single wall art like this or do you prefer multi-aperture? multi, multi aperture? Or I really like the multi-aperture, don't you? And they're discussing it. So you know you're almost there. You've just got to close the deal. That is when I will say to the client, these images that I've chosen as a, a sample can obviously be changed and we can pop in your favourites. That is when we work on this gallery here, which is their favorites. They're the ones that we've already gone through. So the client, we get them involved then. So I'll say to them, okay, would you like to try this one in the middle? Yeah, okay, we'll try that. We'll zoom in, we'll go a little bit bigger. Um, and then they might say, actually, um, can you put the top right image in the bottom left? And you're thinking, oh my God, it's easy. As soon as you open the layout to begin with like that, you just basically just swap them over. You can do them that way or you do it that way. So you're getting them involved. I mean, they are trusting you to a certain degree. More often than not, they'll say, well, what do you think? And it's, it's quite interesting actually, because a lot of the time when I've put a, a gallery together, we do quite often finish off where we started after they've fiddled around and done this, that, and the other. And they'll go, oh my God, that's what it's like when you first showed us, wasn't it? And I'll go, yeah. They say, well, you've got it, your job. I know what I'm doing. Just look. <laughs> <laughs> just look. So, yeah, um, there is quite a lot, well, not quite a lot, but ProSelect, when you install it, you're ready to go off the bat. You've just got to upload your favourite frames, the ones that you really love. I mean, you don't have to put them all in. There will be some mouldings that, probably don't work with um, your work or your images. Um, but I've put, I think I've put them all in because I do actually love them all for different reasons. My fine art stuff works really well with the sovereign range and um, you've got the nice light airy stuff. So depending on what sort of photography you are, what sort of images you, you produce, there's going to be lots of things in there that um, lots of frames that are going to appeal to you. I'm um, just trying to think what else I need to show you guys. Oh, yeah, the room sets. Um, one thing I've done in the past, which I think is really, really good, is when you've created a room set, what do you think it's coming up? Like here. Don't look at that just steep thing that's just come up on my screen. Um, you can actually do a screenshot of this. So you can create um, a JPEG image of this room. So you just basically go to file export, oops, and it will say selected sample layout. Okay, just get that off there. So you can literally create a screenshot of this room and that you can use on social media. So say, for example, you've done a preview session, you've had a lovely sale and the client's happy for you to share on Facebook. You can dummy up this room. You can post it on your Facebook or social media page and say, wow, I've had a fantastic session with this family. Here's a lovely layout off to its forever home. And it's really impressive. It does stop people in their tracks. And they're like, oh my God, that's beautiful. They actually think it's their house. I wish it was mine. But um, no, it's, it's really, really useful. Um, with some of the Ariana for Learning room sets too, you can actually change the colours of curtains, of floors, cushions, walls, bricks. It's, it's amazing. It's really, really clever. I mean, they're not really that cheap, but I've used them for years and years and years, and you do get quite a few in her, some of her bundles that she does. So they're really, really useful. Um, another thing I will say about um, 
Rose Select is that you do, I mean, I've literally just scratched the surface here, but you can create your own price lists in here too. So um, it is a little bit laborious and a little bit overwhelming at first, but as long as you keep it nice and simple, it's achievable. You can create an invoice for the client showing thumbnails of all the products, more or prints or whatever you're offering. That I mean, that's the good. stuff that I've been amazed with, with how sort of all inclusive it is. I mean, even, you know, linking up with um, studio management software like Studio Ninja and stuff like that, you can plot the whole thing through. Mm. And I think if we can, it would be great if we can get one of the guys from ProSelect on in the coming weeks to maybe yeah. go through the sort of the order process, the pricing structures and stuff like that, because it, it's a phenomenally comprehensive bit of software. And like you say, we've only just scratched the surface with it now. But one of the things that I think people could be using this for at the moment is virtual IPS because we're all sort of stuck indoors. And I mean, I've, I've, I've spoke to a number of our photographers already, people like Sarah Smith, who's, who I'm just seeing all the hellos and the comments and stuff in. So oh, we'll, hi we'll, everyone. We'll, we'll go through those in a second, but people are already starting to use it to sell to their clients, which is brilliant because I mean, that, yeah. that that's what we can be doing now at the moment to create those sales um, where we can't actually get people physically into the studio. No, it's great. And you can do that. You can literally do exactly the same um, on a Zoom call. Um, you can just run the gallery and the slideshow um, exactly as you would be sitting in your studio. Go through all the elimination. You can show them. I mean, the only thing they haven't got is the frames in front of themselves. But these are such a fantastic representation of the real thing. And like I say, more often than not, I've got returning clients who've already seen the frames. I know what they've ordered in the past. Um, and just to get us through these um, next few months, you know, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. We want those site, we, we want those per, those preview sessions to take place. Clients want their preview sessions. I've got customers that are dying to see their images, and I'm just beavering away to try and get them all done. Um, but yeah, you can also export the slideshows as well. Um, they do take a little while if you're. Um, exporting a really high res one a 4k one but it, it is achievable you can do it and um, as long as you set up your copyright stamp on there that's absolutely fine you can do that too but um no it's it's just it's amazing and, and like i say I, I i don't profess to be an expert in it but i'm getting by and i'm getting by very well with it and i've sold so much through pro select i really don't know how i i would be functioning without it to be honest because i don't I've never used anything else but i mean the I first know. time i saw it was in your studio um i remember coming along to see you and you were showing me the sort of setup like you were saying right at the beginning with the with the screen and the sofa and the the products that you want to yeah. sell around there and you just walked us through it and i was blown away um, like I, I, I hadn't come across it before, but just the, the sort of potential of what it can actually do for people's sales sessions was evident sort of straight away. And you, like you said, you've used it for a number of years, <laughs> like that. but it, it, you know, that's been a, a staple part of your sales process for all that time, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. And to be able to um, show the actual real life product is brilliant now for me, because in the past it was like, well, I'll show it you in a grey frame. I know it's not the frame we've got on the wall, but it's the same tone. And, you know, you're trying to make it sound good, but now it's like, yeah, I can show you that frame. Here it is. We do it in this size. I do it in that size. And it's just, um, it's brilliant. Yeah, I, I mean, I love it. And, and clients do. Clients do love it. But going back to um, when we're saying about the different sets down here, you know, grandma will be waiting there patiently to choose her images. Once mom's ordered all hers, you can then switch over to this set here and then just start the complete new, it's switched back to 70 where we began. And she can then, back in image mode, choose her favourites. So mom can then go off, change baby, and then you've got grandma. So you've got a double one in the sale there. Instead of like, oh, can you upload them so I can show my grand, you know, show grandma. So, and we we often do invite grandparents in for their own preview session. So, you know, once mum and dad have been in and they're just on their own, they'll go, oh, my mum would love to see this. Oh my 
God, she'd love to see it. Can she come and have it? I think, yeah, they can book a preview session. So we just allocate half an hour. Most of our preview sessions, we do allocate an hour and a half because I like to make sure we sit them down, give them a drink and relax, go through the slideshow. And it gives us enough time so we're not rushing. Job. Get them good and sozzled and get the tears flowing. Get them sozzled. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I mean, Alex has probably got tons of questions there. Um, is there anything else you think I need to? No, I think, I mean, I think like what we what we set out to do was basically give an introduction to Course Select. I, I keep looking over there. I'm really sorry, everyone. It's, it's <laughs> my screen showing Sharon down here and I haven't got the capability to not look at someone when I talk to them. Okay. Um, we, we, we wanted a, a brief introduction to the software and then a demonstration of how somebody who's used it for years uses it successfully. And I think we've sort of covered that. We've got a couple of questions here. I mean, mainly people are just saying how glam you look. I mean, uh, <laughs> beautiful Benz, uh, Kate Mitchell, Kate Kirby, uh, Andy Dean, um, Sarah Smith saying, hey, beautiful, I'm pretty sure that's for you. Um, <laughs> So Monica Sani, your work is just amazing. I mean, it's basically just a big ego fest for you, Sharon. Oh, uh, my God. No way. Things. Thank you. <laughs> One of the, uh, so a couple of the questions. Uh, Kate Mitchell's asked, um, are the wall art collections included in the templates? Can't see these or the frames that they use. So uh, yeah. the wall art collections, um, some of the sort of birch collections and stuff like that from Digit Lab are already loaded in there. Pro Select also have a number of really good collections in there, which you can put together and use to create your own. Uh, but Sharon's actually put together our frame print collections for, for us, which you were using in some sessions, and you were actually showing me how to do it. Because <laughs> that was what we were sort of putting yeah. together. To do. Um, yeah, they're here. Look at them. There you go. Aren't they gorgeous? Now, so we'll, we'll get we'll export them and, and yeah. onto the the download for uh, Digit Lab. There's a couple of new frames that we've put on there as well, so there will be an update going live um, beginning of next week, sort of Tuesday, Wednesday sort of time, uh, because we've got some of the new Camden Tray frames and uh, some of the new Manhattan frames and stuff like that that are, that are on there, which will be great. Um, Someone's asked, does anyone, uh, Jemmy Yeomans, hello, uh, is, does anyone know how much Pro Select costs? Uh, there's two. Uh, options isn't there there's the sort of basic and the pro models which are $29 and $49 a month yeah. I mean in, in terms of a sort of monthly outlay goes it's a little bit more than your Netflix subscription but in terms of <laughs> what you'll you, you know you'll get them from the sales honestly you will make that money back so quickly you really will and I know it's a little bit ooh this time but Seriously, it's something, it's a tool that you really do cannot live without. I can't live without it. Um, it's been ma a massive thing for me in the studio. And um, yeah, I, I definitely, if I didn't already have it, I would I would definitely invest in it. We've had uh, actually a message from uh, Ron over in the States, who's the, the pro select guru who helped us uh, get the, uh, the frames on the system. So hello, Ron, if you're still watching. Oh, hi, Ron. Uh, that the, the pro select sales uh, going live next week. So that's something to look out for. Yay! So, I mean, in, in terms of like a Black Friday sale, I'm sure there's a fantastic offer on for that. So we'll certainly share that through Digit Lab as well. Um, one of the other questions. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Sharon, do you call it a viewing session when you book it in with the client? Actually, I call it an ordering session there because I am a bit sick of people saying, oh, I'm a husband company, Kate. I've just come to look at the images myself. Mm. So it's, a, it's an ordering session and I've sort oh, no, of brainwashed I... Kay into telling people it's an ordering <laughs> session um, because it is essentially. And we normally give them um, some information when they leave after the, the newborn session and say, this is what to expect. All decision makers to be present at the session. Please find childcare if you can, because you're totally distracted and they are. And um, please make sure that you've had a look around the house where you want your products to go. This is an order of the session. And honestly, if we have to rebook another preview session for the client, I'm quite happy to charge a sitting fee for that because time is money at the end of the day. So, yeah, ordering. So, uh, Jemmy Yeoman's asked a question before. At what point do you show customers these? It's something that you would do during 
IPS, I'm guessing you add one or two ready done with the images of the IPS, which you, you kind of covered, but just to reiterate, you would probably have some stuff set out beforehand, yeah? Oh, yeah, I do. Gosh, depending on the session, if it's an absolutely gorgeous session, oh, my God, it goes to town. I think, right, okay, we want to try and get something for the lounge, one for the dining room, bedroom, nursery. You know, we've got um, room sets there for the nursery. Uh, where are they? Let me show you down here somewhere i mean the other day we actually trialed the uh send my room apps you sent it to myself didn't you and yeah I mean, one of us forgot to upload his photographs um so <laughs> <I'm sorry laughs> about that. but I, I can go through it with anyone who does want to have a look at it but the i mean the the software itself is really easy um it, it was is, yeah. an invite that i got downloaded to my phone um, and then it, it, it walks you through, it walks your client through how you would actually take that photograph and then say. It's really good, yeah, because in the past I have actually, um, I've had clients have actually sent me images um, before this Send My Room app was available. They literally just took a picture on their phone. Oh my God, they've coming in this way, that way, this way, that way. And the, the tutorial on there is really, really easy and straightforward. That actually sounds a lot how uh, Emma Jane sent her studio photos. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> um, Kate Kirby's uh, got a great point here. To bring the Ariana Filani rooms into the Pro Select, you can measure something in the room when it's open in Photoshop as 10 pixels equals one inch. Uh, import it in Pro Select and use the ruler to measure the same thing, which is yeah. a great yeah. little bit. Um, Sue Darwin, can you use this for matted prints as well as frames? Um, yes, uh, they are matted print options in oh, yeah. Pro Select. I believe uh, some of the preloaded options in there. Um, well, I created these. Is this what she means? Is this what you mean? Yeah, it's not like single image frame products. So yeah, that's so I, I created these for myself. So I've got, I created a category called single image frame products. And then I created the subgroups, um, the square border mounts and the rectangular border mounts. So, yeah, there we go. Um, you just select your image. Let's find a little, call this little face. Um, you can then put your border on. You can choose single or double. Let's go for a single snow white. And then again, you can choose your frames. So up here at the top of the frames is actually quite a good thing too. It's your recent. So if you're creating a few different products for that client during that preview session or ordering session, then you can you don't have to scroll down and find that frame again. It's actually up at the top here. Um, so uh, go for the white wash. There we go. The white Oh my gosh, it would go on forever. Got all these gorgeous frames. I want every one of these as a sample on my wall, please, Alex. Yeah, I was going to say you've got most of them. <laughs> um... I've got no walls left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fine Art Naturals. Um... I mean, with the Fine Art Naturals or the vintage frame, all you would do is take the mat out. Um... You can, yeah, you can take the mat. Actually, not that's there. So you can go. What I've also done here, you can use um, the birch blocks as a sample if you want or you can create you can actually down here are canvases you can use these as if they're going to be a fine art natural so for example you can put that in and then you can just put your frame straight over the top yeah and they look just as gorgeous don't they um so, Little Primrose Photography, hello. Uh, do we think there'll be a sale next Friday? Yep, I, I think we've had that confirmed. Uh, Lynn Harper, hi, Lynn. Uh, she downloaded it. Hasn't known when to start, but this is sorted her out. So, brilliant. Thank you very much, Sharon. Fantastic. Um, Andrea Bradley, I was in tears when Sharon showed me her slides. Oh. It wasn't even my baby. Uh, Andrea, so she was. Um, so, can send my rooms import photos automatically? I've not figured this out yet. Um, yeah, basically what happens is, um, and we've only used it a couple of times, so in uh, order to send my rooms, once the client gets the invitation, you 
yeah you take the picture of the room and then um, you can actually do a few pictures actually um, you can call them living room one living room two or whatever there's a list of, of different options and then once you've finished it will say at the bottom send my rooms and you click that and it comes over to me or yourselves and then you just load them in so you will you will save those in um, the clients folder with their images and just import them into the album folder it automatically goes into the album folder um, when you're importing rooms there you can this this in the resources pull down menu up here it gives you the option to set up your rooms set up your frames um, so with this if you've already um, download if you've already downloaded uh, room sets or like for example the client's image will appear in a folder on your desktop wherever you decide to put it when it comes in you basically just go to image file search for it bring it in and it'll appear here you will select it and for example if say this is the client's room and this is their little piece of a4 paper you will then get the ruler and you will move that. I'm so glad it's got a magnification on it there. I was going to say so that. So blind, I, I am. I, I think you've just got, um, oh, I, I haven't just used it yet. <laughs> I'm so blind, you can't see. <laughs> okay. Don't tell my, my customers that. Actually, I'm struggling to find it. Where is it? Yeah, yeah. there it is. So you set, assign that to, I think it's about 11 inches, isn't it? Save the changes and close it. So when you, I probably just messed up my room. So when you open that up now, you know that that's actually going to be in scale to the A4 piece of paper. So this is mine, for example, I'll just show you quickly, which we know. There's actually a send my, fold, uh, send my rooms folder on the um, room templates, uh, manage rooms section. So I think oh, all right. up, they will automatically drop into that yeah. folder as well. So they end up in your album rooms here, for example. Um, so this little, I've already scaled this. So I brought this up in um, my, my my setup rooms dialog box I just showed you before. So I will set the scale to 11 inches across here. And then this is a 16 by 12 print. So I can pop that in there. And obviously it's not the right color frame so you can then go in and you can choose the color frame grays gray blue just for extra yeah. um, and then you can even add more so you can say to client actually you've got room for another couple of little ones there um, but it's just brilliant I mean I you know there's so many people have come up against well they've not made excuses but they feel like they're not prepared enough. It's like, oh, I need to go home and measure the room or I need to do this, I need to do that. But it's there, it's already done. It's already done for you. It's a brilliant app and it's something that I would definitely encourage your clients to use um, or to get involved with before they come for their preview session. Because they're quite surprised when they see it, their room on the wall, on the screen and images on here. This is another one here as well. I think it kind of paints you, the photographer, as like an expert that's tailoring something specifically for their room, doesn't it? Yeah, so and it does It does give you confidence. It does give you confidence in selling because the product's there, yeah. you know, and just practice. I, you know, I used to practice on that. And the more you do, honestly, it's really easy. You remember it. It is just like riding a bike. You do, you do take to it really easily. I did. And it's, it's really clever. I've had clients wanting to actually have a play themselves. You know, I've gone out and made them a coffee. They say, can I just have a play with that layout? You know, they're actually sat there playing around with it. But it's, um, no, it's it's brilliant. Uh, just a couple more as well. Uh, Ron from ProSelect actually said, when people download a free trial of ProSelect and activate it, they can schedule a free session with a mentor to help you get going as well, which I think is massive. Um, yeah, I know uh, Joe Laws, one of our customers, who I think is watching, hello, Joe. Uh, he had a session with Carol uh, earlier this week and he found that really helpful. Um, 
there's just loads of people saying that your photography is amazing and you look amazing and stuff like that. Um, oh, that's really Emma Fiddler, hello, our Emma and Emma Jane, uh, both Emmas, um, saying hello. Anna Hurst as well, and Sarah Wilson, thank you so much. Um, did get the trial, couldn't figure it out. This has been such a massive help. So if there's anything else in terms of any questions or anything like that, if you want to send them through to myself, um, we'll either try and help you or contact the guys at Pro Select uh, to answer any questions. And like I said, we you know be looking out for that sale next week. Um, I'd just like to take a massive uh, the, the opportunity to say a massive thank you to Sharon. I mean, that oh, it's been fascinating, you. and I think that so getting it from somebody who's used it for this amount of time and, and to such a success, I, you know, it, it's invaluable. And I, I know you've had a really busy day and stuff, so I really thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to go and sit and cuddle my poorly little pug now. I know, bless him. Feeling very sorry for <laughs> pal. But no, thank you so much, Alex, for asking me. And again, honestly, if anybody needs any help or wants to have a quick um, chat or whatever with me, please just get in touch with me while I'm sitting here. Um, not that I'm twiddling my thumbs. I have got lots of things to do, but I'm here to help, honestly, anytime. And thank you so much for all of you coming on and miss you all. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, so thank you very much for tuning in, everyone, and hopefully we'll see you all in the, in, in in actual life soon. Um, like I say, any questions, please feel free to forward them on, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Alex. Cheers, Bye. Sharon. Bye now. Bye bye.